Hey everybody, it's David Dugdale, learningvideo.com. So I'm a fan of David Hobbies. About three years ago, he published a photography course on lynda.com. I think it was called Insights to Building a Photography Business, I think it was called. I'll put a link down to it below. There's some free episodes, and if you're a member, you can actually watch all of it, and it's actually quite good. Um, so here's a, I just printed out uh, his lighting setup number one. I'm gonna go through four different lighting setups, and I'm using my iLED, 18 inch and I've got another one behind me. I'll show them to you in a second But basically what I'm trying to do is match the same lighting he did and he showed his basically his setup So I'm probably close but not perfect um, So what let's go to wide shot and I'll show you what I'm talking about about I don't know, two feet in front of me arm length of, In front of me off by about 15 degrees. I've got this ILED 18 inch with a grid on it from honey honey grids Nick over there it was great at honey grids. He just made me a, a couple of them um, they're fantastic. You can actually lift them off. You can right here. Let's see if I can do this. You can actually lift them off and I can see it's got a lot more light. I was only just wanting to concentrate it right on here. So as you can see, if I rotate this, you won't be able to see my face. At least I don't think so. Yeah. After a certain angle, I think this one is 45 degrees. Um, and they just go right on here. Um, right like that. And so now it's bouncing off this reflector coming hitting me. This is like kind of a three-quarter backfill. This one also has a honey grid uh, on it as well. And in his, um, right here, I know I'm not in a close-up right now, but I don't even know if I've got the contrast ratio right between the two cheeks. But uh, he basically, this one's an arm's length away as well. He never mentioned where his lights were located because when you're doing a shot like this, it's really tough sometimes to tell where they are in relationship to the person in the frame. So this is way behind me, as you can see as I'm reaching. If I rotate it too much this way, you're gonna see a whole bunch of light hitting me right there. He didn't have that much, and he said he was living right on the edge of his honeycomb grids. He was using Axiom lights, which I don't like, I've tried. They're very green, um, but he was using like the first generation of those back in 2013 when he made that uh, video. So that's very similar. And then right here, again, it's very hard to tell what's in front of him or behind him um, in this frame, but his light, his key light is actually facing towards the camera. So I don't know how he was bouncing it back towards him. So I don't know if I've got it totally correct, but I think it's close enough for this particular one. I'll get it a lot closer on two, three, and four. And then behind me, you can see there's another ILED light, but a smaller rectangular one. And I don't have a gray backdrop like he does. I have a white one, so I just turned the light down as much as I could. All right, this is lighting setup number two. I think I'm pretty close on this one. Um, as you can see on his, uh, I'm pretty close. Again, I don't have a gray backdrop like he does. And I'm gonna show it to you here in a second, but basically what he's got is two lights kind of above his eye line um, with grids on them. And like he talks about, he's like right on the edge of the light. So as I move in, you're gonna see it gets, the light quality changes quite a bit and as I pull back. So I'm right on the edge of these lights. And if I take them, you can see as I rotate, I'm right, like he said, I'm like living right on the edge. It was kind of funny because when I was actually um, setting this up, I was looking at the waveform monitor and I could see the light level on each cheek and I match them up. Right now I'm just doing it by eye. So as you can see, the lights are out in front of me. You know, they're not back here, but they're out in front of me. And I'm not too sure if I got this totally right because his looks, now that I look in the frame, his lights actually look closer than mine. But again, now you can actually see these uh, honey grids, 45 degree and you could see how bright they are right in the center. And actually, I don't even have these lights turned up that much. I've got them like turned up only 20%. And then the light behind me is, hasn't moved, hasn't changed at all, which we're gonna change that here in the next, I think the next one. All right, this is lighting setup number three. Uh, it's clamshell lighting. I'll show it to you what it looks like here in a second. But basically what I was trying to do is match what David had. Um, I was just looking at the catch light in his eyes. Um, I've got a light down here and I've got a light up here both gridded and the light back there is actually pointing straight up right against the white backdrop. So 
Uh, on his, I could see there was catch lights on the bottom, but he didn't really have catch lights coming from the top, so I had to move these lights like an inch here, an inch there. Um, and before I was getting sockets under my eyes, I can get a little bit, um, so I had to move the light a little bit that way. But it's really a game of inches, because if I just move like an inch this way, I'm getting out into the light a little bit too much. And Dave would always like right at the edge of that grid where that grid starts to drop off dramatically. All right, so here it is. We got the light up here. It's got a grid on it. Light down. Actually, I had to put it on a chair. I don't have a light stand that low <laughs> like he had. Uh, so it's down the floor. And like I said before, that light is shining straight up. So it's coming right off my, it appears like it's coming right off my shoulders. All right, this is lighting setup number four. I have a key with a grid on it right here, which I'll show you in a minute. Behind me, I've got a diffusing shape and I'm li living right at the edge of the light. As you can see, that's a lot. I can actually feel it. And that's probably too less. And so right about here is what he was doing. Um, I'll show you the light here in a second, but um, the diffusing shape, I'm shining light through it. It's a little bit too close to me, but I had to use my 7200 to get that kind of compression where you can't see the actual circular shape. And you can see the light is basically shining straight up. He actually had it shining straight in, but I created some very um, weird kind of, not lens flares, but streaks that went up and down, which I didn't like. So, um, and then right here is our light with the grid on it. Like I said before, you just don't have to move it much. And he likes to live right on the edge of that light, which is, this is great. This has been a great learning experience. Uh, I've never really owned, um, 45 degree honey grids like these before. Um, before, like I, you know, this would be a good example. Let me, I'm going to take this off. So as you can see, I removed the grid. I turned the power down to 10%, which is low as it can go. And this light works great. In fact, it almost looks like I'm getting very similar results to what I was before with the grid on it. Um, but it's obviously spilling more and it's out in front of me. As you can see, my arm going out in front. Some, some like it like before, you might think it's off to the side, but it's not. It's actually out in front, like at a 45 degree angle. And the light, as you can see, is going this way. All right, this is the fifth and final one. This is not even really my own. Uh, this is definitely inspired by Joel Grimes, if you know who that photographer is. I'm not even doing it exactly the way he does it, but I've got two three-quarter backfills, and I've got a LED light in front of me. I'm gonna show that to you here in a second. And then behind me, I've got another LED light that I kind of just uh, threw in there, so I'm actually using four, with a blue gel shining on the white background. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. So like I said before, I'm reaching behind me. I, can, I can't even reach them. They're, there they are. I can feel them. So they're quite a ways back. And again, they have grids on them and they're turned down quite a bit actually. Maybe to 15, 20% power. This one's also not very powerful. It's only like maybe 20%. I'd actually like to have this one up high, um, but I was just too lazy to put the C stand in and bring it down. <laughs> and then one behind me pointing back up that's got the blue gel on it. This has been a fun exercise. Uh, maybe you guys have learned something along with me. Um, these are always fun to try and do. Um, so the next time I'm doing a corporate video or something like that, and I've got these lights, these, you know, ILED lights, I'll be like, maybe I want to try something a little bit different. All right. Hope you maybe learned something along with me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.